Hi, today's programme is Everton versus Manchester City in the Today League Division 1, Saturday, 2nd of May 1987. Programme of the year, this one, no less. Right, we open up for views and news and everything else from Howard Kendall, the legendary former Everton manager and player. Also along with Everton Football Club dignitaries, chairman, who was Philip Carter at the time, manager Howard Kendall, and then all the honours there that they won, which there's many. Full page advert for NEC, Everton sponsors at the time. Successful as a team, brilliant at their own game. NEC, leaders in the field of computers and communication. Everton, leaders on the field of football. NEC Corporation, the official sponsors of Everton FC. A new era at Goodison. Two major changes in spectator facilities at Goodison Power announced this week. Everton Club Card is a new membership scheme which will enable all supporters to register their allegiance to the club, undertake to act in the best sporting traditions and enjoy several worthwhile benefits. Also, the Goodison Road enclosure will be totally seated and reserved exclusively for members of the Blues Family Club. Details of the two schemes which will come into force from the start of the 1987-88 season are outlined below and then supporters will find the usual application form for season tickets and the Family Club in the last two programmes of the season. And there's a photo down there of the Kieran family uh, who enrolled in 1982 as the first members of the Blues Family Club. They've seen the club grow beyond all original forecasts and were delighted to be invited back last weekend to look at the plans for the new section in the Goodison Road enclosure. Amber Lyon Executive Coaches. Yeah, Executive Luxury Travel to all away games. Special Bus, two clubs who compete for the FA Charity Shield have a pleasant duty in nominating a local charity organisation to receive a Bedford minibus. Join us today. The Walk for Life will be the largest soccer PC event in the history of British football and aims to repeat the scale of unity and friendship demonstrated in Sport Aid. It was July the 26th, 1987. Entry form for the Walk for Life there. Comment. Stakes will be high when the 19th club in the first division goes into the new playoff at the end of the season. The difference between the success and failure in four matches, two legs in the semi-final and final, could run into several hundred thousands of pounds, depending on which estimate you take. Uh, for instance, Peter Swales, a Manchester City chairman, put the figure as high as one million and suggested that the final could rival the FA Cup or Littlewoods Cup as an attraction. Now you have times change. Littlewoods Cup, which is now the Carabao Cup, and the FA Cup are much uh, put down, really, these days. Uh, and a million pounds. Imagine now it's more like a billion pounds or maybe more. Football at Goodison Park. Coming up soon, we've got the Today League Division 1 Everton versus Luton Town. Saturday 9th of May 1987. Toffee Girl. Seats distributed by the Everton Toffee Girl are courtesy of Bark and Dobson. Ball Boys. Mascot. Today's mascot is Alan O'Hare, Sunningdale Road, Liverpool 15. Matchday mascot's kit is supplied by Umbro and is retained as a lasting souvenir of the occasion. Young Alan be uh, in his mid... Well, how old will he be now? Late 40s, 50s. And today's Mitre match ball is sponsored by Dalweb Fasteners Company, Co Limited. Banks near Southport, Lancashire. Wayne's 1, 2, 3. Wayne Clark turns away, putting the Blues one up against Newcastle on Easter Monday. Our latest sign-in then went on to complete his hat-trick with two goals in the last ten minutes. Below, he calmly notch notches up number two. And, far right, heads home uh, the third. Below right, a power shot from Ball. Get the pun there, Paul Power. Also played for Man City. News desk. Uh, information on Paul Power, Kevin Langley. Wembley won, Inches Award, Wembley 2, uh, and then more the news desk, that's Inches Award. Wembley bound, some players here. There's uh, John Barton, uh, Jim Arnold, Brian Burrows, Mark Kearney, and Jason Danskin. Adverts for Town Travel Services Limited for all your travel requirements. Official agents for Everton Blue Street Travel. Travel tickets for all away matches. Austin Rover, beat up the league with a new or used car from Hepburns, established 1921. 48 Bridge Road, Blundell Sands, Liverpool, L23, 6SG. Now there's information on Manchester City, today's visitors, 
very different city back in those days. Form check, transfers, and the management. Jimmy Frizzell joined City as assistant manager in the summer of 1983 and became number one when fellow Scott Billy McNeil moved to Aston Villa last September. There's a photo of Mick McCarthy, looking very young. Yes, the Republic of Ireland captain and manager. There he is. Past and present, down the years. Five years ago, Adrian Heath was on target at Swansea and Graham Sharp scored twice as we ran up a 3-1 away victory. Robbie James netted for the Swans. Manchester City played a goal draw at Aston Villa. Then you've got 10, 15, 20 and 25 years ago. And there's a picture of Asa Hartford, played for both teams. For the record, there's the stats in Man City. Uh, sorry, Man City is a record against Everton. There's the Manchester City Tide of 1986-87. Some good players in that team. I'll go through the starting 11 uh, later on in the video. Manchester City Statistics, 86-87. If you're enjoying this video, uh, give us a like, share it if you can, and please subscribe, it's all free. Now we go on to the centre page there, and it's a young looking Dave Watson, with the Everton home kit. Nice home and away kit that season. NEC, Umbro, classic. Everton Statistics for the Attendances and the Today Division 1 table, 86-87. Look who's top. Everton, Liverpool second. Everton roll call. Players, dates of birth. Here's the first team fixtures, results, attendances, appearances and goal scorers. Pretty steady lineup there, Everton. Mims, Harper, Power, Ratcliffe, Watson, Langley, Stephen, Heath, Sharp, Richardson, Sheedy. With various uh, substitutes, Wilkinson, Marshall, Aspinall, Coyle, Reed, Poynton. Ooh, look at this. Look at this groovy gang. Look at that. Nice gear. The Everton Collection. Show your support. Unique. The team's very own look for sports and leisure with a distinctive style, quality and prestige of the match kit. Training and off the field wear worn by the players themselves. Made by Umbro, the club's official supplier. Uh, there are designs and sizes to suit most members of the family. There's no mistake in the real thing. Every garment bears the authentic team badge and distinctive Umbro diamond trademark. Good all that. Fact file, Ian Snowden, or Snodden, whichever way you want to say it. Uh, player you most admire, Brian Robson, the complete midfielder. He's got his best British select 11, best goal scored, best pal, all those things. Any sporting faults? He reads the sporting life too much. Sporting life, and that's gone now. Racing post. Uh, what was your first car? Volkswagen Golf. So he has good taste. Yeah, Ian Snowden. From Yorkshire, I think. Uh, puzzles. Soccer Centurion. On the ball. First 11. Fitness test. There's the crossword. And there's the answers. Number one again. So the Everton programme is the best in the country for the third year in succession. So the top six positions of programmes at this time in uh, 80, well, 86, 87, Everton, Aston Villa, Chelsea, West Ham, Arsenal, and then jointly Southampton and Tottenham. It is programme of the year. Everton's title in more ways than one. Blue Mail, so people send in letters in there. Rob Dolphin from Bebbington, Chris Hughes of McGull. Mr. Titro, or Trow, or Fazakali. Uh, the editors commented on that one. Michael Camino from Birkenhead, another comment from the editor. Lee from Kirby. Stephen Pratt from Runcorn. Billy Dobson of Bootle. Wendy Hodger Walton. Right, more Everton in action. Gary Stevens blocks the way through, uh, through for his former Goodison teammate, Warren Aspinall at Villa. Villa Park a fortnight ago. And up and under clearance from Dave Watson as Villa's Mark Burke closes in. Good colour photos in this programme. Mitre, official suppliers of goals in today's game. Where to view Volvo in the light of experience. John Warwick, number one for Volvo, Fox Street, Liverpool. War info on the walk for life. Post-war players. Andy Hazelton continues ex exclusive 
series of, on every player who has appeared for Everton since the Second World War. So we've got Eddie Thomas, Mickey Thomas, George Thompson, Colin Todd, John Tomlinson, Mike Treblecock, David Turner, Alan Tyre, and Pat Vandenhow, who's a player of this era. Spotlight, a record book, will always state that Wayne Clark scored his first senior hat-trick against Newcastle on Easter Monday. But though that might stand as the official verdict, it should have been his second in the eyes of the law. A policeman on duty uh, behind uh, the goal at Villa Park last Saturday even took the trouble to write in support of his claim that he scored three goals for Birmingham City in a local derby. Wayne takes up the story, I'd scored twice and was certain I got another, or at least a penalty, which I would have taken. The ball looked over the line to me and there was no doubt in my mind that Gary Williams handled it before it was cleared. I had a lot of letters from people saying it should have been a goal and the policeman said it was definitely over the line. But the referee and linesman had none of it at the time and so Wayne had to wait for 12 months to break the hat-trick barrier on his 248th league appearance. There he is, Wayne Clark. And there he is in his Everton colours. Looks like they're playing Southampton with that kit, Draper Tools. Classic kit of the time. In reserve, info about Everton in the Central League. 3-1 uh, win against Newcastle United. It's Graham Sharp fights for possession against Newcastle Reserves. Central League fixtures. Lancashire League fixtures. Central League statistics. In Manchester City, we're at the top of it then. Manchester United second. Uh, Lancashire League appearances. First Division stats. Highest attendance. 54,000. 103, which is Manchester United against Liverpool, 20th of April, 1987. Supporters asking questions. Tudor Records. I wonder if that still exists. 35 Chapel Lane, Formby, for records and video films. Or 17 Walton Vale, Liverpool, for records and tapes. Suppliers of all records played on Radio Goodison. Everton Club Call has kicked off. That's the number. And now we go to the teams that day. Match Facts. So we've got uh, Neville Southall in goals for Everton, Gary Stephen, Paul Power, Kevin Ratcliffe, Dave Watson, Peter Reid, Trevor Stephen, Adrian Heath, Wayne Clark, Ian Snodden and Kevin Sheedy. Manchester City, Eric Nixon, Kenny Clements, Clive Wilson, Steve Redmond, Mick McCarthy, Kevin Langley, Andy May, Neil McNabb, Imre Varadi, Paul Stewart and Paul Simpson. Match officials, Neville Ashley from Nantwich. There's the score check of the games on that day. And another advert from Everton and NEC, Technique and Technology. Hope you've enjoyed this programme review. Give us a like, share it, subscribe it. And I'll be back with another programme review very soon. Aiden's Mini Adventures. Thank you.